The DT Iceberg order provides traders the ability to customize their Iceberg order execution beyond native exchange Iceberg orders. In addition to making Iceberg capabilities available on exchanges that don't support Iceberg orders natively, TT Iceberg lets you trigger your Iceberg order based on market conditions, vary the quantity of each disclosed order, adjust the price level of each disclosed order, and more. In this video, we will use TT Iceberg to vary the quantity of each order slice, offset the placement of each slice by a number of ticks, trigger our TT Iceberg first as an if touched order, and then as a stop order. If we want to buy 200 Euro stocks contracts on Eurex, which does not have a native Iceberg order, we could minimize our impact on the market by using a TT Iceberg. After entering our quantity of 200, we open the order type drop down menu, and from under TT order types, select TT Iceberg. We could break our 200 lot order into slices of 25 contracts by going to display and entering 25. However, let's vary the quantity of each slice by entering a variance of 40%. We can preview our slices in the preview pane by clicking the magnifying glass button next to variance. As we can see, the quantity of each slice varies by a random amount of up to 40% of our specified quantity of 25. If we would like to use a different series of quantities, we can click the refresh button or simply reload our preview pane. Now, we enter our order at our desired price level and can see both the synthetic parent order with a total quantity of 200, a working quantity of 23, and an undisclosed quantity of 177, and we see the child order, our first slice of 23, which has been submitted to the exchange as a native limit order. Once the first slice fills, our next child order is submitted with a quantity of 27, and so on until the full order amount fills. TT Iceberg lets us begin the submission of our order slices using two different types of triggers. We can select a stop trigger or an if touched trigger. Let's say we want to buy 300 euro stocks contracts when the price reaches 2411, but we don't want to show our order until then. We enter our quantity of 300, open the order type drop down menu, and select TT Iceberg. We'll again select a display amount of 25 and apply our variance of 40%. Next, we'll select the trigger checkbox and set the type to if touched. We want to begin submitting our child increments when the market is offered at 2411, so we'll enter our price and select ask. Once the market is offered at 2411, TT Iceberg will begin submitting our child buy orders. We want to try and squeeze an extra tick out of our order, so we'll submit our child increments one tick better than the ask by applying an offset of one relative to the current ask. We can use with a tick to reprice our child orders at one price level into the market if it looks like liquidity is drying up on the opposite side. We click the with a tick checkbox so that we can add a tick to the price of our working order if the opposite inside market falls to or below 50 contracts. When we enter our order, we see the parent synthetic order in the order book with a trigger price of 2411. Once the offer reaches 2411, our first slice of 15 enters the market one tick below the offer. However, liquidity on the opposite side of the market then fell below our with a tick threshold of 50 contracts, which repriced our order up a tick to 2411, where it then fills. As each subsequent slice fills, the next is entered until the entire order quantity is filled. TT Iceberg also lets us use a trailing trigger to initiate the execution of an iceberg order. If we are long 300 euro stocks contracts and we want to exit our position, we can use a trailing stop trigger to try to improve our exit price. We again select TT Iceberg from the order type drop down menu. We provide a display of 25 and our variance of 40%. We again check the box next to the trigger, but this time we'll select stop from the drop down menu. Instead of entering a trigger price, we'll check trail. We'll have the triggers trail the last traded price by three ticks. Then once our trigger price trades, we'll have our slices enter the market at the last traded price. So we'll apply an offset of zero ticks from the last traded price. After we select our quantity of 300, we can click anywhere on the sell side of the MD trader and our parent order will automatically set its trigger price three ticks away from the last traded price. As the price improves, the parent order's trigger price will also improve, remaining three ticks away from the last traded price. If the market retraces and trades at our trigger price, our TT Iceberg will begin submitting sell order increments at the last traded price until the entire order is filled. As you can see, TT Iceberg provides many valuable tools for customizing the execution of your iceberg orders. For more information, visit our website at tradingtechnologies.com.